Welcome back to Shining Force Mio. And we are going further deeper inside the ruins of Oblivion. Now last time I remember we broke through like so. With so many of these just whittling us down like so. And every bit is going down like so. I kid you not, that there's a lot of force energy and a lot of coins I'm picking up. Damn, it's too dark in here. Both of you keep an eye out. Hey, Meryl? Rhinos? Where are you two? Hey! Meryl! Rhinos! Max. <gasps> Who's there? Max. You've come to see me, haven't you, Max? That voice! No, I can't go back now. Okay. I think that voice is coming from deep inside. Okay, good. Okay. So I want to know, okay, where are we going? Okay, we're going that way. I'm just wondering now, like, okay. We... Can't use return. Oh my god, the lighting in here is. The lighting in here is. Oh, oh, good lord. Is it... Please look away from the screen if this looks all hazy and blurry to you. It's hazy and blurry to me, and I got the lights on. I'm like, ugh. difficult when I get to Mother 3. I'm telling you that right now. <clears throat> and that's not all. He remembers the times when my brother was just a baby and he saw you in Hale Prison so long ago. He's my brother and yet he's not. 
Your last words, Father, have been bothering me so much. Who is that man? Who is he? His name is Vandal. He is a victim of the biggest mistake of my life. Did I call it or what? Vandolf? A victim? Another son of ours. Vandolf. Another son? I am your brother, but I am not Cain. A person fascinated by the brilliance of the moon. You know what I'm talking about. And they all started back at the Breeze Laboratory. Wait! That can't be! Master Graham told me himself! Cain and I are your only children! Yes. As far as blood relations, Graham speaks the truth. But Vandolf is undoubtedly the brother of you and Cain. Sounds like this is North Star all over again. Vandolf? My other brother? Ah, oh, My head feels like it's gonna explode! I'm so close to remembering! It's no wonder you can't remember. I sealed the canes and your memories away so that you'd never have to recall that tragedy. You three were so close. Well, no wonder. That explains everything. Max, before we moved to Green Sleeves, the five of us lived together in Enoquar, Sanctuary of Light. But after you were born, we only stayed four short years. Vandalf? I can't remember. What kind of person was he? Vandalf. He played a central role in the war of 13 years ago. The clan of the moon. He was the one drawn to the power of the moon. He started that war? 23 years ago. Vandoff was born the child of a merchant of Cascade Castle Town. When he was six, the mark of the clan of the moon appeared on him. Most likely his ass. A mark? Of the clan of the moon? It's possible for anyone to be one of the clan of the moon. I'm sure you've heard this before. It's not as if they are a race. All living creatures on this earth have the potential to become part of the clan of the moon. It's like new types in Gundam. There are some that have the potential to become new types. And probably even more so. If the darkness within an individual creature is in harmony with the power of darkness, and it can become part of the clan of the moon. As a child, he blew an entire house away. Damn! Vandalf showed too much power to simply call it a glimpse of things to come. He was a, he was very destructive then. His parents were terrified of him. All the things they could have done, they sent him to hell prison. That explains why. Then, you saved him. Right when Greed was going to experiment on him, right? Yes. But I never thought Hale Prison would turn out like that as a result. I took Vandoff back to Enoquar and raised him like a son. Like a brother to Cain, who was still a baby, and to you, who was not yet born. But then war broke out 13 years ago, 
And you couldn't stop the power of the clan of the moon. It all started with the uprising in Cascade. The uprising in Cascade? Yes, that was the origin of the war. You knew that, right? Thirteen years ago, a rumor was spread that the master of Cascade Castle made a pact with the Clan of the Moon. We still don't know if it was true, but many bought into it and stormed the castle. Everyone inside was slaughtered. That's a picture of the lord of this castle and his wife. They were both killed thirteen years ago. At the worst possible time, Vandoff awoke as one of the Clan of the Moon when I headed to Cascade to suppress the rebellion. With his seemingly infinite power, he destroyed the Crystal of Light in Enoir. The Clan Moon's power to control, which was restrained by the Crystal, increased dramatically with its destruction. Vandolf tried to summon Dark Castle, but we managed to stop that with our strength. Good lord, that game was terrible. Dark Castle. Oh no! That's when... Mother... I lost my life then. After the terrible fighting that consumed seven countries, I thought I had ended his life with my own hands. Vandolf, head of the Clan of the Moon. My ten-year-old son. I cornered him to the edge of the cliff so he couldn't get away. I pointed my sword to him and brought it down in a single breath. Hmm. But my sword revealed my hesitation. Although I cut him, I couldn't pierce his body. Still, the impact of my blow knocked him into the abyss. Because of my moment of hesitation, I couldn't even handle my own family affair. And yet he's still alive. Is that your mistake, Father? This hesitation you always speak of? When you saw him in the sanctuary of Greensleeves, you immediately knew! was Vandolf. Yes, you were right. Wait, hold on right there. Grandma's been telling me this whole time that the war was started by the Clan of the Moon. But she said they attacked in a group. But you're telling me Vandolf is the sole cause. Only a few survivors of the war know the truth. If we told the truth, the people would have killed Gaia. Protected life. If I was the only one left alive, then I would have taken full responsibility for not stopping my son. But... Rebecca decided that we should seal our lips. She was concerned for the safety of you and Cain. Is that why my childhood memories are so hazy? Well, well, I never knew that either. Oh, jeez. Huh? It's you! Listen, I was going to nicely lay it all out for him and hide it. You're not supposed to give him the answer, Gaia. Still, at least you haven't told him the most important part. Otherwise, I'd be stuck with no role to play. Vandolf. Vandolf! <laughs> You've played your part already. Get lost! Now 
that I know you're not my brother, I won't take it easy. I can't remember what happened between you and us, brothers. Whatever past we had, you're nothing but an enemy to me now. Prepare yourself, Vandolf! Well, I actually get to fight him this time. Hmm. Are you sure of that, Max? Being so rash in killing both of your brothers? Both? Yes. I am Vandolf. But I'm sure you know whose body this is, don't you? They merged. Uh. No, your eyes don't lie. You know that I'm your brother. This body belongs to no one else but Cain. The body and mind of both brothers. What? Max, you have to forget your kindness. Can you kill your own brother? Uh, that's Cain? No doubt. That's Cain, and that's not Cain. Uh, uh. Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? Thirteen years ago, Gaia gave me a wound too deep to be cured by the power of the moon, which had been weakened and sealed by Maria. I spent so much time in the dark days of relentless agony, it felt like forever. At one point, I thought it was easier to just die. But more than that, I wanted to share this with you. My pain, my agony. I vowed not to rest until I share them with you. I saved this just for you? Three years ago, I decided to take a final chance. If my body wouldn't heal, then I would have to look for a new one. But any ordinary one would only end up dead at Gaia's hands. So, by using some power that I had accumulated over a decade, I caused an uprising in Cascade where I was hiding. If an uprising broke out, the forces would come for sure, I thought. It was then I took a chance and attempted to borrow the body of another. You! You caused that uprising three years ago, where my brother and Rhino fought! Ah, but I never expected Kane to come to Cascade. I was almost dancing with joy over that fateful encounter. I'm sure you were. Then why have you not come to us these last three years? If you hate us so much, you would have shown your face right away! <laughs> yes, you're right. I wanted to so bad. But things are not quite that easy, you know. Even after I took control of his body, Cain resisted so much, it took three whole years to wipe out his mind. Unlike my pain of ten whole years, just imagining the anguish of you, worrying about your missing brother, made those three years enjoyable. You're crazy! Toying with the lives of so many? Just what do you intend to do? Oh, um, you know, keep the fuck with you. If you want to know the answer, hurry to the last sanctuary. I shall treat you to a wonderful show. There's no need to wait. I'm gonna end you right here, right now! Put this hammer of mine! And Cain, too? He isn't even one of the Clan of the Moon. Your pathetic brother is just a puppet. Which sounds kind of kind of parallel to Shining Force on the Game Boy Advance. In which, if you remember, in that universe, Max and Kane were indeed brothers. But Kane was controlled by Dark Souls the entire time. So therefore, 
he was con he was controlled, and thusly, thus the reason why Kane fought Max in that version of Shining Force, which I, which I thought was pretty good, as compared to the classic Genesis version, where there where there was no no kind of um, connection. So to me, this, this is pretty interesting, even though. This has gone dark in so many levels, but I'm enjoying it nonetheless. <laughs> Not just yet. More. I'll take more away, and I will give you despair. Big Brother? Meh. Max. Yeah, now we're getting to the part that's just going to be like, oh, okay, so... Max is meeting both his brothers. The body of Cain and the and the mind of Batman. Okay? That's where we are right now. <gasps> Don't hesitate. Max, kill him. And me too. Kane, is that you? Damn you, shut your mouth. Kane, big brother, hang in there, answer me. All done by the same voice actor, mind you. Max, my heart is tainted. I can't go back anymore. You must... Shut up! His resistance grows stronger because of this land. This land that lets you speak with the dead. I shouldn't stay too long. Max, here's something to keep you busy. This thing again. Damn! The only choice left is to run! Damn it! Um. Out of the way! Out of the way. There's just no point. Meryl, Rhinos, where are you? Max! Hey, you two. I've been looking for you. Hey, that's my line. Where have you two been? Come on, Max. We'll discuss it later. Right. There's a monster closing in on us. We need to get rid of it right away. Oh, you too. Okay. Oh, man. That reminds me. I was being chased by some weird monster with scissors. What? That's the same one that was coming after me. You're kidding me, right? What's going on here? Oh! Good lord. Here it comes. That's the one. That face, man. Kill him! Kill him! No, no, kill this thing! This thing must die! Phew, man, it 
sure was tough fighting that huge bastard after all that running. No kidding. Where have you two been? As soon as we entered, you two disappeared. Hey, I felt the same too. I was wondering where you two went off to. I see. The souls we each wanted to see were different. So maybe that's why we went different ways. Were you able to see your family, Rhinos? Yeah. I owe it to you, Max. <laughs> they even scolded me for being a crybaby. <laughs> I see. And what about you, Meryl? Who did you see? passed away when you were little. No wonder you wanted to see them at least once. Sorry. I know it was selfish coming along for my own reasons. No one. What? No, don't worry about it. Half of the reason I came was to see my mom and dad again too. By the way, you said something about wanting to make sure of something. Did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, actually. <clears throat> You've got to be kidding me. So are you telling me that it's all because of this Vandal selfishness that Cascade was completely destroyed? Yeah. My wife, my daughter, my unborn child. You mean to tell me that they all got involved and killed just for that reason? Yeah. Uh, no! That can't be! Stop it! Why? Be lost! How dare he? How dare he? I'm sorry. Max? Why are you apologizing? You haven't done anything. And knock it off. Your apologies aren't gonna get us anywhere. I mean, my father said Vandolph was part of our family. It's the family's responsibility to take care of any misconduct from a family member. Makes sense. <laughs> family. Yeah, my family just reminded me that I still have a lot more responsibilities to fulfill, too. What now? First things first, we should head back to San Tomas. I gotta check out my baby. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Thanks for everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. What? I'm a mechanic in San Tomas. I'm planning to join up with you guys as soon as I get him to fix my girl. Rhinos? Then you mean... He's another force to be used. That's right. Now fight by your side. They called me a hermit. <laughs> and threatened to divorce me. They just kept yelling at me. I finally come to my senses. Oh my! Such a nice story. Wait, where'd you guys get here? No, that's a man. Okay, how the hell did you guys get here? I knew you'd rise to it. That's the way our captain should be. Hey, you guys. You can keep buttering me up, but don't ask for anything in return. Uh, hey, Max. You guys are going to Hyatt, right? Yeah. To get there, go back to the parched desert and head north, northeast. Got it? Northeast. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Well, since I'm in a bit of a hurry, I'll see you later. Party configuration unlocked. Thank you. Bye.
my, my. <laughs> What's the hurry? He's embarrassed. <laughs> ah, that's the captain for you. Max, what are we going to do now? We're going to hide, of course. Thanks to my parents, we now know his true identity. All we have to do now is... Can you deal with him, Max? Your brother, Kane. And Vandal. Yeah. Kane isn't one of the Clan of the Moon. Isn't there some way to get him back to be the king that we all know for? Chickatina, you you never knew the dude! You just came in halfway, uh, halfway during the course of the of the quest. You just now heard him, who he is. Come on now. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I now know for sure that my brother is alive. I'm sure we can throw Vandolf out of his body and bring Kane's mind back. Sounds like a plot from um from Space Quest. I recently saw a Let's Play of Space Quest recently. Roger Wilco and the Time Lovers. And should it prove impossible? I have to beat the living shit out of the dude. What else? Uh, if there is a way to save Kane, then we should try it. However, we must be prepared for the worst. Yeah, I know that. If that time ever comes, I'll do it myself. Because that is my father's will. I just wanted to kiss him. Huh? Um, nothing. Nothing. Sure. Max? Hmm? Let's save Kane. Yeah. Of course. Well, now that we've decided, let's hurry to Hyatt. All right. Let's first go back to the parched desert. But first... And then we leave. After all this, I am definitely going to save because that was just crazy. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm actually going to stop here and I'll meet you back at the parched desert to where we are going to hide and eventually stop Vandal. Okay, okay, so I'll see you next part when we take on. Um, Go on to hide it. Stay tuned. More of Shining Force Neo right after this.